Hello everybody, this is Prem Kumar here, author of book Journey from Zero to Hero. We'll go to the next chapter that is Wealth Consciousness. Man, oh man, when without money, eat vegetables at home. When has money, eat the same vegetables in a fine restaurant. When without money, ride bicycles. When he has money, rides the same as an exercising machine. When without money, walks to earn food. When has money, walks to burn fat. Man, oh man, never fails to deceive you. When without money, wishes to get married. When has money, wishes to get divorced. When without money, wife gets wife becomes secretary. When has money, secretary becomes your wife. When without money, acts like a rich man. When has money, act like a poor man. Man, oh man, never can sim- tell the simple truth. Say share market is bad, but keep speculating. Say money is evil, but keeps accumulating. Say high positions are lonely, but wants them. Says gambling and drinking are bad, but keeps indulging. Man, oh man, never means what he says and never says what he means. Many years back, a young man from state of Gujarat carried washing powder from house to house at the rate of rupees 3 per kilogram, which he manufactured. Multinational companies were selling at the rate of 8 rupees per kilo. Many of the housewives started buying the washing powder sold by this young man due to its quality. Day by day, the sales kept increasing. It started a big factory. It started competing with other multinational companies and got a major share in the market. It becomes a history. The young man's name was Katsan Bai Patel. And, uh, and the washing powder he sold was Nirma. Today, Nirma has become one of the top selling brands in the industry. A big dream, hard work, low cost, high quality product, and entrepreneurship. All these qualities can help achieve anything in the world. Karsan Bai Patel, through his product Nirma, has become a splendid example of a success story in creating wealth. In order to become rich, worshipping the goddess of wealth, Lakshmi, and chanting her name is not sufficient. We need to develop wealth consciousness. Let's understand what is wealth consciousness is. We always equal wealth to money, which is a mistaken notion. Just close your eyes and think for a moment. Revisit these. Where you came from? Where are you standing now? And where are you going? Understanding that being born as a human is, itself is a big wealth, physical health, stability of mind, our place of birth, our parents, school, teacher, our workplace, the people who gave us opportunities, the hands that saves us from drowning, supporting friends, our life partner, our role models, society, nature, our knowledge, attitudes. And all other positive things are our wealth. This is the basic understanding we need to know about wealth consciousness. Affirm and practice it. When we go on cursing the world, criticizing our parents, teachers and friends and say, I should have been born in a rich family. Look at my fate and spend our time like a frog in the well. We tend to meet similar minded people and form a club called the Bad Luck Association. Here, all un- un- unlucky frogs meet at a place and share their sad stories. The member of this association blame the society, organizations, government and their family. They say, I'm very good. I don't lie. I cannot butter anybody. I can't do politics. I don't have a good wife and so on. And so put forth various reasons, spend time drinking and teach reach home late. If we become the members of such associations, our self-control goes for a toss 
and we get into illusion of behaving that everybody in the universe is unlucky. If you get an invite for the membership of such an association, then reject this offer would be the first and foremost step in developing wealth consciousness. Friends, nobody in this world is unlucky. We are indeed lucky. As the saying goes, a prepared mind can only meet opportunities. Hold on to it and do the work which are aligned to our dreams. Not get disturbed by the success or failure. Be equally balanced in losses and gains. Patiently be involved in daily activities. Then why won't you become lucky? Take charge today. Build a group called Good Luck Club. The entry into the association is not so easy. Only those who fit into the criteria mentioned are filtered and admitted. The people who love their life, believe in Almighty, love others and are, and are good Samaritans who believe in the welfare of the world are the, are the permanent member of this Good Luck Association. If you want to bring out Karsan Bhai Patel, Dhirubhai Ambani, Sachin Tendulkar or Narayan Murthy of Infosys in you, then you have to make huge changes in life. The youth should keep in mind that private companies or government alone cannot give employment to everyone. You must become self-employed with respect to our qualification respect to our, to our qualification, knowledge and art and aspiration. If we have courage and entrepreneurship, we can create all the wealth. Example, Rajiv Bhatia, the founder of Hotmail, shot to fame in his early years. And Narayan Murthy identified a six young people working in Patni computers and founded the software giant Infosys. His wife Sita, Sudha Murthy is spending a major part of their income in philanthropic activities. Azim Premji, the chairman of Wipro Foundation, has founded Azim Premji University to support the cause of giving quality education. Sri Sri Ravi Shankar started Art of Living Foundation, has created a revolution in the spiritual field. Do's and don'ts of wealth consciousness. Identify your goals clearly. Every day your goals must be in front of you. Keep away from unnecessary thoughts, laziness and pessimistic attitude. Do not put leg in two boards at the same time. Always try to give a glowing edge to the very simple thoughts. Meditate. You will get miraculous thoughts. Let new thoughts enter our minds. Do an analysis of the projects that you have undertaken. Many new projects may come before you. Give a thought in various innovative fields such as solar power, organic farming, biotechnology, hotel management, housekeeping, psychology, residential schools, catering, interior decoration, travel and transportation, 3D animation, printing technology, film acting, or web-based trading or your artificial, artificial intelligence. Move on from old school of thoughts. Approach people with an open mind. Follow the rules and regulations as per the law of the land. Loans taken should be managed effectively. Pay the monthly installments in time to avoid fines and penalties. Like this, even the bank which has lent you the loan becomes your partner in creating wealth. Have mentor along with you who are experts in various fields. Develop patience, trust, cooperation, the attitude of wishing others good to whomever you meet. Learn the lesson that nature always give back in an abundant way. Write a Success journal, a book where you paste all the wealth positions, a farmhouse with a swimming pool, a house with a helipad, portraits of successful role models, 
famous celebrities, etc. Visualize whatever you desire and do it regularly. Reading the books written by great thinkers such as Deepak Chopra, Paulo Coelho, Richard Badge, Paula Haran, Shakti Gawai, Napoleon Hill, Robin Sharma and others enriches the knowledge on wealth consciousness. The purity of our thoughts and intentions create the required resources and one fine day we leave our dream. Develop willpower. Negative thinking has to be eliminated to increase the willpower and develop positive thinking. Develop values like humility, contentment, detachment and compassion. A simple lifestyle, good company, good food and becoming a, a well-wisher to all. Moreover, our willpower should be increased. Who is rich or poor? You may be an employee of an organization, self-employed, businessman or an investor. An employee work for others' dream. A businessman set up his own organization in a systematic way. Even in his absence for a year, his organization could function normally. But an investor will not work. His money will work on, on his behalf. He must decide what he want to become by uh, reading the great books such as Rich Dad and Poor Dad. A cash flow quadrant written by Robert Kiyosaki. <laughs> Wealth Consciousness by Deepak Chopra. Famous writer Deepak Chopra view on wealth consciousness is as follows. A young man once went to a master with the dream of becoming rich and asked the master how to achieve the same. The master replied, there are two gods in our Indian culture. We have given a sacred place for them in our hearts. One of them is God, goddess of knowledge, Saraswati. And the other is goddess of wealth, Lakshmi. When you always go after goddess of knowledge, the goddess of wealth would become jealous of you and would start giving you great health. The more knowledge you gain, the more the wealth. Wherever you go, the goddess of wealth would come behind you. Increase your knowledge, increase your wealth. To know the truth about this, we must meditate regularly. Meditation is an important part and parcel of each and every culture of the world. If I have achieved anything outstanding in my life, it is due to the practice of meditation. The great Sharana of Karnataka, Allama Prabhu on wealth. They say the wealth is illusion. Wealth is not the illusion. They say woman is an illusion. Woman is not an illusion. They say land is an illusion. Land is not an illusion. The desire in front of you, of your mind, is the biggest illusion. O Lord Shiva, Guheshwara. Great success stories. I was in prison for 27 years, Nelson Mandela. I was rejected in the interview of a of pilot APJ Abdul Kalam. Amitabh Bachchan says, I was rejected for the job in All India Radio because my heavy voice. Sachin Telgur says, I failed in eighth standard. Michael Jordan says. During my secondary school, I was dropped from the school basketball team. Dhirubha Ambani said, I used to work at petrol bank. Bill Gates says, I didn't even complete my university education. Tom Cruise says, I was a dyslexic kid. Oprah Winfrey said, I was raped at the age of nine. Lionel Messi said, I used to serve tea at a shop to support my football training. Steve Jobs says, I used to sleep on the floor in friends' rooms, returning 
Coke bottles for food, money, and getting weekly f free meals at a local temple. Tony Blair says, my teachers used to call me a failure. Rajini Khan, the superstar, says, here comes the Talaiwa. At the age of 30, I was a bus conductor. Tamil actor Surya says, he worked for a textile factory for six months without anyone suspecting that his parents were movie stars. Friends, there are many such people who have struggled and succeeded in their, in their goal in life. Life is not just about you couldn't do it so far. It's all about what you can still do. Wait and don't give up. Miracles happen every day. Rupees 20 seems to be too much to give it a beggar, but it seems okay when it's given as a tip in a fancy restaurant. After a whole day of hard work, hours at gym seems all right, but helping your mother out at home seems like a burden. Praying to God for three minutes takes too much time, but watching a movie for three hours doesn't. Waiting a whole year for Valentine's, but we always forget Mother's Day. Two poor starving kids on the pavement weren't given even a slice of bread, but painting of them sold for lakhs of rupees. Give a smile or gift to someone. Each time you gift or smile, it will make someone's day again. Donate a wheelchair in, to a hospital. Every time a sick person uses it, you gain. Participate in building an orphanage, hospital, school or college. If anybody uses it, you gain. Place a water cooler in a public place. Anybody who drinks water, you gain. Plant a tree. Whenever a person, animal sits on it, shade or eats from it, you gain. Share this message with people. Even if one applies in any of the above, you gain. The last word. There was a balloon seller in the village who sold colorful balloons during the festivals and fairs. Whenever his business is down, he used to leave balloons with the helium gas inside into the sky. Balloons filled with helium gas fly very high. When the children saw the colorful balloons flying in the air, they would come running to buy the balloons. His business soared high. One day, somebody pulled his shirt. When he turned around, a small boy asked him innocently, Uncle, if the color of the balloon is red, will it still fly? The balloon said, replied emotionally, My dear child, the balloon flies not because of the outer color, but because of the gas inside it. Similarly, friends, we do not grow and become great personality because of our external activities, but because of our inner qualities, values and attitudes. All the best. Thank you.